with this little mirror we're able to block with the Fuji film. I didn't need to buy an expensive external monitor. That little mirror works really well. I can see myself clearly. Right now you probably can't hear me well because I don't have the microphone plug in, but you could probably see me very well. And then with the zebras, well, I don't have zebras, but we do have Fujifilm does give me a highlight clipping. Let me know when we're clipping the highlights. So right now I'm just clipping outside a little bit the sky, but my shirt is not clipping at all. And that should be good exposure. With this mirror, I could see all that. I could see that I'm in focus. I can see my exposure. It's looking very well. And if I put my hand up here, I'll focus on my hand and then back on my face. And yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're in focus. And in a second after this, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my Canon one and see if we can do the same thing. Now the Canon, it doesn't have an articulating screen, so it doesn't work so well with this mirror. Um, like the Fuji because the Fuji does have the articulating screen and I can see very clearly I'm in focus Beautiful bouquet All right, so here we are. We're gonna make a pit stop here by this lake and I'm gonna test out the Canon All right, see you guys there. All right, so this is the Canon EOS M at 1080p And right now I can honestly tell you that this whole mirror thing is not working well at all I was able to try to focus a little bit but I just can't see the screen it's too much sun too much daylight there's a lot of reflection on the actual LDC monitor behind the camera so I can't see anything I just barely can see that my head is in the center but that's about it but uh, yeah definitely you're gonna need an articulating screen such as the one the Fujifilm has and that's what's gonna help you uh, see the screen better so we're gonna switch cameras again and see what it's like outside with this blogging mirror. This is much better with an actual articulating screen. I can completely see myself. You can't tell that I'm actually looking at the mirror because I got sunglasses. So that's a nasty Nasdaq uh, little hack there. Uh, Chato, I'm overexposing a little bit. So let me go ahead and, oh, uh, about there. There we go. I don't want to clip my shirt. It's white, but we don't want to clip it. A flat screen like the one on the EOS M, it makes it impossible to use this vlogging mirror. But my Fujifilm X-H1 does a great job. It's, I'm surprised how well we can see outside in the bright sun. You could actually still see the mirror, especially if I take off my glasses, I can see perfectly fine. I can see that I'm recording well. Even though Fujifilm does have the tally lights that are just amazing. Recently cameras are coming up with tally lights. Fujifilm has had it since 2018 or maybe XC1 had it. I don't know if the XC1 had tally light. I don't think so. Maybe the XC2. But Fujifilm, they know. They know users. They give us what we want except the flippy screen. But the this little vlog mirror solves that this is so nice i can even see my voice meter is pretty good this is really awesome guys so if you guys are on the fence deciding whether to buy a vlogging mirror for your setup you know if you, your camera only has an articulating screen get it this is the way to go it's a lot cheaper only costs about 15 20 dollars and i can see myself oh there was a b so this is great and here you have it guys, this is it. This is the little uh, vlog mirror thingy on my Sony A7S. It's a really old mirrorless camera, full frame mirrorless camera. And it doesn't have, again, an articulating screen. So it's not ideal for blogging. But again, thanks to that little mirror, it's gonna make it super easy to even blog with this setup right here. And check it out. You can even see right there in the mirror. We can see ourselves. Hello. So it's a nice clear mirror. And yeah, if you got a camera and you need to monitor your vlogs or whatever, your shots to shoot yourself, you know, do a self shoot or whatnot, then definitely I highly recommend this mirror, even over a monitor because it's just crispy, clear especially in a controlled environment like inside this room 
you know all you just have to do is just flip out the screen and there you go you are all set no need for an expensive monitor of course there are advantages of having an external monitor you're gonna have things such as uh, apply lots into your log um, you have meters and waveforms and whatnot false colors and all that good stuff and something very neat i don't know if you could tell right up top on the side and on top of the mirror there are hot shoe mounts meaning we can clip lights microphones i don't know what else you're gonna clip up there but um yeah just keep in mind that this thing is made entirely of plastic the mount base everything the screw is all plastic so don't put anything heavy it's just basically for your microphone or whatnot but it's just i'm glad it's still there so both sides do have the hot shoe mount as well as the top and this is the branded company that i ended up going with yelango i have no idea what it is there are so many of these variants in amazon and ebay i'm sure you won't have problem finding a similar one you know it's just a plastic casing with a mirror inside and that's it that's all it is there's nothing much to it but um yeah that's what helps keep the price really really low so there you have it guys this is my quick review of the vlog mirror that is just super cheap very affordable to find anywhere amazon ebay but um yeah i re highly recommend it because it does what it's supposed to do it's showing us our lcd screen even though keep in mind it is a mirror so it's gonna be flipped so all the numbers and the words everything is gonna be backwards but we don't need to see that what we need to do is make sure we're composing correctly and also exposing correctly so if your camera supports zebras like the sony a7s or the fujifilm that has clipping highlights then yeah you're able to expose really well now if your camera is like my canon eos m you will probably just your best bet is just go with a cheap monitor or do what i do is i use an android tablet with an hdmi cheap hdmi capture card that connects through the usb and i'm able to monitor everything from the camera including the false colors all that good stuff it's all visible through my android tablet but again that's just an expensive route this is much cheaper so if you do have a flippy screen you are all set to go i highly recommend it outside inside is very clear to see i have no problems uh, composing and focusing so it's a highly recommended product we're gonna finish up here shooting on the canon eos m the mirror is up there but i barely can see the screen it's like in really slant angle so it's almost impossible to frame worse yet focus somehow maybe we did it i don't know hopefully we are in focus and if we are kudos to the mirror for helping me uh set up this quick setup you know just my canon on top of the tripod with a little mirror so that i could somehow some way compose this shot and conclude our video so guys um if everything worked out great then yeah you could see that this little mirror is really convenient for all these blogging style shots now if you found this video helpful useful i will really appreciate your support liking smashing the like button and also sharing so other people can see what this little plastic wonder can do for bloggers that don't have the fancy articulating screen another way you can support the channel is by subscribing so we can see you on the next video you know in this channel we try to make the best use of the tech we have in our lives for cheap better yet for free so if you're into that thing hopefully we'll see you again in a future video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one peace